Hello, it's Shoba from Just Go Places, and today I want to show you the New Jersey Sea Life Aquarium at the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's a really pretty aquarium and quite big for what it is, and we really enjoyed ourselves. Let's take a look. <laughs> Sea Life Aquarium at the American Dream Mall is 25,000 square feet and is home to more than 3,000 undersea creatures. It's next door to the Legoland place and you can get a combined ticket for both, which is what we did. There's a whole city under the sea theme going, so in the entrance is shaped like a subway in reference to New York City and uh, there are plenty of New York City names like Sharkfish Avenue. Going along with the Metro New York theme, there's a football themed exhibit reminding us of the MetLife Stadium next door where the Jets and the Giants play. So we're going to show you some of the things that you definitely should see in the exhibits at this aquarium. So this is what our kids enjoyed and hopefully yours will too. It's a walkthrough attraction so you can wander at your own pace. A little bad for this puffer fish though because it really did look like it was trying to go to the edge of the aquarium to find a way out of this, uh, this tank. Only goldfish that have five second memories because this puffer fish was just kept repeating the same action again and again with no results. So there's a boa constrictor from the rainforest of South America which we got to see up close because there's a little space for little kids to duck inside and see inside the tank. The boa's name is Rosie and she is 7 feet long and weighs 30 pounds. She's actually more than the kids we work. She only eats once a week and likes large rats. Lucky for her, there are plenty of rats and plentiful supply in New York. Rosie only eats once a week and so we didn't get to see her eat because that would have been super cool to see her eat a large rat in one gulp. But she was really quite active and slithered around and, and pretty uh, entertaining as far as boa constrictors go. The jellyfish are entrancing to watch and their display has a light feature which makes it kind of cool to watch as well. It takes about an hour, hour and a half to get around, depending on how long your kids are entranced by the sea creatures. There are pictures to take and things to do for the kids, so it is an interactive aquarium. And then of course there's the colorful tropical fish, which are always entertaining to watch. Some of the crowd favorites are clownfish, thanks to that most famous clownfish of all, Nemo. Sea Life Aquarium is part of a large group of aquariums all around the world. The London Aquarium, for example, is also part of the Sea Life Aquarium group. And we have been to a sanctuary in Cornwall where they rescue seals. They have overall about 50 aquariums and two sanctuaries that work with both education and conservation of ocean life and resources, as well as sponsor projects like Shark Week and cleaning up of beaches. So your money, as expensive as, as these tickets are, are going towards something good. Speaking of prices, they run about $50 for adults and uh, $45 per kid. So I have seen complaints online that the uh, New Jersey Aquarium is uh, a small slide and that it doesn't have that much. Uh, I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. In terms of aquariums, it is on the smaller side, but there is plenty to do and plenty of exhibits to keep uh, kids happy and entertained. And it is expensive, but I'm sure that uh, it is no more expensive than anything else in the metro New York area, which is probably one of the most expensive areas in the U.S. So it's in keeping with that. And uh, overall, I was not disappointed. So uh, if, you, if you see the negative reviews, yes, it is small, but uh, I thought it was small and well done, if that makes a difference. Uh, of course, I mean, you know, it is expensive and that seems to be whether or not um, it's worth the admission if you have a large family. For us it was because uh, we were there with my uh, mother and uh, with, the, with the little kids as well and after a, uh, you know, a day spent traipsing around the American Dream Mall and, um, you know, the Legoland excitement, etc. Uh, the adults in the party were ready for some downtime that did not involve, um, uh, you know, burgers, sugar, uh, 
uh, arcade games, all the noise and the excitement that the rest of the activities in the American Dream Mall seem to um, encourage. By the way, we've been to a lot of aquariums, but this is the first time we've actually seen seahorses in a tank, and um, they're actually super cool looking and slightly weird, and, and you know, they look pregnant. It was cool to see. There is time limited entry, so um, it wasn't crowded at all, and we really enjoyed ourselves. There's also a touch pool for little kids, and staff are around to help kids learn about what they are seeing and touching. There are starfish and anemone, but the new thing we learned about was a fish-eating anemone that uses tentacles to eat small fish and shrimp. The Sea Life Aquarium is wheelchair and stroller friendly, so it is uh, really good as a multi-generational visit with children and grandparents. We had a combo ticket with the Legoland Discovery Center next door, and uh, it was a, a fun-filled day. You can go back and forth between the two. Legoland was good, but this was excellent. Along with Shark Fish Avenue, there are a whole lot of clever fish ponds of famous New York places and things. How many can you spot? It's part of the enormous 186,000 gallon tank, which spirals around and has seating areas and underwater ocean tunnel to walk through. The aquarium is big, but not too big. So it is actually a really uh, good size for families. Uh, the exhibits are entertaining and there's a variety of them so you can just keep going through and kids don't get bored and that makes a big difference. There is no sense of overwhelm with younger kids and with older kids it is a, a nice break from the um, chaos outside because I honestly found the American Dream Mall a bit overwhelming. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of entertainment, a lot of white and color and everything coming at you. And our time in the aquarium was actually a nice mental cleanser and um, downtime as far as I was concerned. My kids absolutely love the American Dream Mall, but I would definitely be only able to take it in small doses. I think I'm just too old for that level of hyper-excitement. The American Dream Mall is probably a very good microcosm of the American Dream itself, which seems to be an endless quest for bigger and better and more excitement, more, more, more. And uh, at a certain point, though, it, it, it is definitely a time to think about when you've had enough. And as far as I was concerned, this aquarium was enough. So this uh, walk through underwater bit um, reminded me of a New York that was a post-apocalyptic scene because everything was a bit worn down having been in the water. And it was, uh, was kind of cool to see like you're in a movie set, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, the Guggenheim Museum, Times Square. So will this be New York City when sea levels rise? So I hope you enjoyed that look at the New Jersey Sea Life Aquarium at the American Dream Mall. What was your favorite fish? Mine is always going to be the puffer fish because it looks so silly. Anyway, I hope you liked that. And if you did, please remember to click like. And if you want to see more travel and travel related content, remember to click subscribe. Thanks again. And I will see you again soon, hopefully.